You are here for a revolutionary match inside the Omnia Club. Omnia sponsoring the event alongside Caesars Palace and Caesars Entertainment. Some of the top players from around the world coming here to battle for prize money, world ranking points, and the glory of playing in the swankiest table tennis venue you've ever seen. On our left, from ICC, get ready. Are you guys ready for the men's singles finals? I can't hear you. Are you ready for the men's singles finals? If you're not already watching the screen, you should be. It's a preview of what you're going to see out here for the men's singles finals. These competitors battled hard, and they are undefeated so far. This will be a first for many, many reasons. World-class play. Here we go from ICC in Milpitas, California. Give it up for Wang Jin Xin. And his opponent coming all the way from Romania, the kryptonite to Timo Bull. World rank number 54, Adrian Krishan. And as the players make their way down to the court through the dark, exotic arena, only anticipation in the crowd. I know you've seen them play so far. Krishan has had some close calls and challenges. And so has Wang Jin Xin. It'll be a question of experience, world-class play. Romania's top player, number one from the national team, will be playing a strong player who's been coaching at ICC, grew up playing in China, and nobody knows who's gonna win this match. But we will see in this best of seven, here come the players. Now entering the arena, The players will shake each other's hands and then the officials. Again, make some noise for the two men's singles finalists, Wang Jin Xin from ICC and Adrian Krishan from the Romanian national team. All right, players, shake hands and let's get this warm up started.
The winner of this match is going to take home 7,000 US dollars. The loser will take home three. Not bad for a time in the most happening city on the planet. the noise we're getting ready for the men's singles finals about ready to start men's singles final here i'm here with sean o'neill five-time u.s champion for the men's singles final the 2015 u.s open ready to start right now Dan, we've got two really tall players here, tallest in the field. Adrian Crisson serving on the far side. Both these players have excellent table games, really moving the ball around. Wang Jin Sin out of ICC, maybe a little bit more power on the forehand. But Crisson, tremendous amount of international experience playing for Romania. The Timo Bowl in the Olympics has participated in the U.S. Open many times before. And he hasn't won a lot of international titles, but his short game is fantastic. He's a counterattacker. He's certainly the heavy favorite in this match, but Sean in the round of 16, he had a match point against him, and he survived, so he's feeling good, and I think it's gonna be very difficult for Wong to hang in this match, but we'll see. Crisson plays in the Bundesliga in Germany and is a very experienced international player and Wong is definitely a little bit of a greenhorn. Oh. And after that round of 16 when Crisson almost lost in a great match, he won the quarters and semis in just a walkthrough. Just such strong backhand play from the Romanian. He's one of those players, Sean, that doesn't turn much. His backhand is almost is stronger than his forehand. He doesn't move much, but he's so good with the short game. See that short drop? He really uses his leverage well, Dan. When he gets a shot on the backhand, he can take it both wide cross court or down the line. Really balanced style. You don't see him getting out of position all that often. Showing a little bit of nerves there. Carry forehand didn't look good on that one. Much better. Yeah. Nice backhand there. Took that right off the bounce. Certainly the edge in this match goes to the Romanian. He's been on the Bundesliga for many years. He's played in the World Championships, played in the Olympics, beat Timo Bull. So he's been there. And that's the kind of game, so difficult. That backhand change direction, cross court down the line, especially down the line. His backhand down the line is one of the best and gets you on the wrong foot almost every time. Little side under. This could be, uh, I hate to say it, but this may not be a, an even match. I think Long is in big trouble. That's my opinion at this point. He's technically... There's that backhand, yeah. so good. Grison has power both off the forehand side, but really on the backhand, and he's really nullifying Wong's serve by just dropping it over the net. 
There's a nice backhand loop, another backhand loop, and Wong going down 11-5 in this first game. Creason looking very strong right out of the chute. And Creason doesn't play an impressive game, but he wears you down with his short game and his backhand misdirection, and boy, he can block too. He's not the most physical player, but he's difficult to play, as you can see. He beat Timo Bull in the Olympic Games. He's had many great wins, so Wong's got his work cut out. I'm not sure he can compete in this match. It doesn't look like to me that he'll compete. I think he's going to get blown out, but we'll see. Yeah, I think, Dan, one of the issues with Wong, he was a bronze medalist in the university games in China in 2009, playing out of the Hunan province. It just might be a level difference here. I mean, uh, there's no doubt about it. There's definitely a level difference. And psychologically, Crisan is in a good place. When you, when you save match points, the rest of the tournament is gravy. You know, when you, when you survive a match where you could have lost, from then on, you can release everything because you feel like you're lucky to be there. It's one of the best feelings in the world, and he sure showed it in game one. You know, Dan, if I was Crisan right now, I'd try to be a little bit more offensive just to, oh, that ball hit the microphone. Hit the microphone and went sideways. I don't know if that would have been in play or not. That would have been a tough call. Yeah, right now with Crisan trying to open up, it's gonna keep Wong on the defensive, forcing him to counterattack. I think tactically, Crisan might not go for the biggest shot, but definitely not gonna play safe. Excellent backhand return there to take that side spin serve and spin it with a little bit of side spin on it with the banana. And folks, when we talk about the short game, that's a real short service, little drops over the net, and they're hard to reach because the table impedes your progress. Hard to play those balls. That table gets in the way. At that time, Wong was able to find the middle of the table there on Kusan. Both players extremely tall, but very agile and able to cover the entire court. Now Wong, Surging to an initial 4-2 lead here in game two. He needs it, that's for sure. Because Crisson is a tough, tough one to play. Matter of fact, he's a counterattacker. What you need to do is play a little deep. Oh, oh, that's the kind of error you need. Get him back in the match. And that's gonna keep Long up by at least two after this surface exchange. And Long. Jumping out to a four-point lead on some almost careless mistakes here by Kusan. He gets sloppy at times. He really does. I watched him all weekend. His serve return has been somewhat poor. Like right there, that's a oh. poor top spin. Just at times his serve return is really crisp, but other times he's popping them up a lot. In a very sloppy second game, but you got to give one credit. Really just jumped stayed, Yeah, just stayed right on top of it. I mean, these games are playing at a blistering pace. 8-2 already. Oh, Wong with the combo. Nice flip and then forehand follow. Certainly turned it around when I thought this was <laughs> not going to be a match. You might have heard you, Dan. Yeah, well, you know, that's the announcer's whammy. It works every time. Pretty sloppy play, that's for sure. Nice Such drop, but not moving his feet at all. And that's one of Crisson's weakness. He's definitely slow on his feet. 35 years old, the Romanian. Wong is 24. Just tremendous experience from Crisson, but he doesn't have a great offensive game. No, he's not going to start dictating. He's going to play off of Wong and Rao. Wong evens it up. And a very convincing 11-4 to almost trump the first 11-5 game. Nice forehand loop right off the bounce, trailing away from the table. 
And Dan, we've got a match here. I didn't see that coming, really. <laughs> I mean, it, it didn't look good in the first game, but now it went complete reverse. But we also have to remember that it's difficult to play in Las Vegas because of the altitude. It's 2,200 feet above sea level, and it's very dry. So it's kind of like extreme table tennis. It's hard to play here. and Things can change in a, in a matter of seconds where you're playing well, and then all of a sudden you can't play at all. And I think both these players being such strong counter-attackers, if one player can get the other player off balance a little bit, very tough to keep that counter-attack on the table. Well, I wasn't sure about Wong, but uh, <laughs> you don't get to the final of the U.S. Open without being a top player, and he's there, and he certainly showed in that second game that he's a competitor to win this title. Well, he's definitely got the support of his team here from the ICC sitting courtside here at the Omnia nightclub at Caesars Palace. And I do have to mention, Sean, that Cresson has won very few tournaments in the international circuit. Side top spin long, a little bit unusual. He wasn't looking for that. Caught Wong sleeping a little bit there. He generally serves very simple and short. Nice backhand loop there by Kusan. He's going to have to really establish his backhand supremacy if he wants to get into this game. There's a miss hit there for Kusan. Well, and I think serving long every once in a while, and even a lot of times, is good because Kusan's short game is so strong. Yeah, you can almost see Dan on Kusan's face. He's having some issue with the balance and a little bit of the timing. Wong really does load up the ball. I like that. Yeah. You know, you nice force Crisson to open it because he's a counterattacker. Make him attack and counterattack him. That's how you beat the counterattacker. If you keep going at him, he'll beat you for sure. But if you make him work. Oh, a forehand flip that just floated off the end. Folks, if you want to be good at table tennis out there, practice your short game. Serve short, drop the ball short on occasion, and use that first third of the table to your advantage. There's that fast serve. It looked a little bit like he threw it into the racket, but uh, I hope the referee watches that one. That one looked a little shaky to me. Oh, oh and that's Creason's trademark back in right over the table. Yeah, I think Wong has to stay away from doing too many short plays. Ball because tends to pop a little bit here. And, and Crisson's very good at that net with that backhand misdirection. A little top spin. And again, strong backhand play out to Wong's wide forehand. It was very simple looking, but very effective. 5-4. Boy, that backhand is strong, just right off the bounce. Adrian seems like if he can put two hard balls into the backhand, Wong's not handling that at all. That was three or four rallies in a row with the same result. I think he's going to start picking on the backhand. There it is. You know how hard it is, Sean, when you go <laughs> backhand to backhand with someone and the other guy has a better backhand than you, it puts you a little bit, at, you're in panic a little bit because you don't know if you should turn or not. Oh. And Creason's short game, very strong. Short game and backhand to backhand play, he's a winner for sure. Wong has to get more aggressive and go into the forehand. Oh, I'm not going to win that way. That's some tremendous <laughs> backhand play. That ball was loaded and it was beautifully played. It's almost like we've seen three different players out there each game. Complete different momentum sh shifts. Wong has to get away from that backhand. He's got to get away. He cannot allow Adrian to go cross-court into that backhand. He'll be 
no chance. He needs to go directly to the middle or forehand to forehand play as soon as possible, every chance he can. Cresson's forehand is not that good. He's a backhand oriented player. He favors it. You have to work the forehand. And White, right now, Wong's backhand's pretty much been limited to just blocking ball. He really hasn't done too much offensive with it. And I think when they go back into backhand, I think Wong should change direction as soon as possible. At least get it to the middle, maybe middle forehand. Yeah, so middle. That maybe he can re-loop yeah. and get him moving. And I think he should serve into Cresson's forehand. Yeah, get just short. Get him to where that next ball that goes out to the forehand will cause him to have to move his feet. Don't, yeah, he, don't start on the backhand. There's, there's no logic there because Cresson can just go wide back to the backhand and shut off that angle. And, and it was so clear he could win that rally. There's a serve to the right forehand. forehand. You've got to keep him over there as much as possible and then keep him honest occasionally, but keep it over there. Again. See? That's a perfect ball. And two balls. I think we know what we're talking about <laughs> up there. I mean, you've got to be ready to change on the fly. I mean, you've got to know this guy's forehand is not that good. You have to challenge it. Boy, That's three right. in a row. At least it, you can see he knows that he's got to get away from the backhand, and that's important. But you can't only get away from the backhand. He's going to have to go back sometimes. Creason has the ability right now to force the first ball. Oh, and that's a nice turn by Creason. Really nice power and control from the Romanian. Deep serve under the backhand. Adrian stepped in just a little bit and got caught. Little bit of a mistake there, Dan. He had him out to the forehand. He just returned it to the backhand safe, and all of a sudden, here comes Prisant's backhand loop off the bounce. Yeah, a lot of topspin on that ball. That's what makes him so so impressive. By the time the ball side. got over, it had so much downward trend. It was so strong. Oh, Wong with a much needed back edge after dropping the serve. One loop, here comes the block, just catching the back edge. Oh, you don't want to drop that high. Yeah, he kind of did a little poke instead of a real underspin drop. Needed probably another step to get into the ball to really make a quality return. Huge game for Wong. He's really scoring on the serve. I've noticed throughout this week, Kusan's return of serve has been very erratic. At times good, but other times very weak. There's the forehand. Right, forehand to forehand exchanges. Advantage Wong, backhand to backhand Kusan. It's just but, gonna be a battle to see who can get control off the serve. But Wong has to realize when he starts going to the forehand, every once in a while he has to keep him honest and go back to the backhand. Side top. Wow, the, that ball just floated off the end. Very slow movement, not covering the middle. That's how you beat this guy. If you're capable of playing good defense, his offense is just not strong enough. See, it's not strong enough. Right, those deep pushes also. Get off of that short ball, just keep the ball deep. Now that serve there was side top, but Wong cut it and was so heavy. Check yourself out. Thank you. 8-4. to four. So far, we haven't had a close game. No drama. Yeah. <clears throat> Dan, you can really feel in this angle where we're sitting, Kusan really is driving the ball without that much effort. That ball's flying off his racket. Up 8-4, but two in a row for Cresson, 6-8. And now with the serve to try to level this. Cresson knew once he got that first back in that he was going to own that cross-court exchange. Just really nice control, picking up on the backhand, adding extra spin, then getting the forehand to come in. 
And then one more forehand to take the point. And crunch time, folks. Down 2-1 at 8-all. Long's taking some deep breaths. He's lost four in a row. Beautiful oh, serve. What a time. Very nice to little get a service winner. It looked like he was going long and he dropped it short on the forehand. There's another one. And he played a well placed safe, nice controlled, nice and low. Prison's forehand return is pretty weak. Two bad returns cost him from 8 all. He could have closed this match out, go up 3 1, but now 8 10. Oh, that was that topspin <laughs> one that he cut the last time. Wanted to cut it again, but it jumped a little more. Point of the match, folks, right here. Oh, and what a strong over-the-table backhand loop, completely hitting the forehand pocket of Wong. Wong unable to put his racket on the ball. Great blocking. That was. He's moving the ball around. Long was in real trouble, but he made a couple of brilliant shots to go up 11-10. And Let's he see. really needed it. If he wants to win the U.S. Open, he has to win this game. And Here, it's on his racket right now. Here's the block out to the forehand. Crisan just goes long. Oh! oh! A big yes, forehand rip. Wow. Two, two. Wow. Wong up for the challenge. What a forehand cross court finishing blow to even up this match. Now, folks, when you're looking at this on there, your screen, it looks dark in the back court, but really here in the, in the Omnia, the, the vision is very good for the players, and even the backcourt is good. It's sort of an optical illusion that it's that dark back there. It's not really that dark. Wow, that was a, a huge point, huge game. And it, clearly, the forehand to forehand play and the serve to the forehand is going to serve him well. Creason had a chance to put the match away there, but got away from him a little bit. But don't worry, he's 35 years old. He's been out there in the arena many, many times. But, you know, sometimes when you get older, your nerves kind of let you down. I think, Dan, with Creason, he knows there's going to be a number of momentum shifts, and he's not really getting too excited with the wins or with the losses. He knows he's got to get into that backhand to backhand exchange. While at the same time, Wong's looking to get that ball out to Creason's forehand as early and as often as possible. You don't want to lift up to the backhand. Creason will just punish you both down the line and cross court. Yeah, I think if you can, you drop it short in the forehand and you dig it down the middle. Wow. What a strong forehand rip. I wasn't sure if that was on. Let's take a look at this, <laughs> folks. The angle. Watch this one here. Watch this one right here. Beautiful. And a, sort of an upward loop. <laughs> Crowd is loving it. And I'll tell you, Sean, he's serving long. He's mixing it up, serving short in the forehand. And that's exactly what you should do against Creason. You need to serve long. You need to serve short to the forehand. Those two things. There it is. Short to the forehand. He's got it. Great misdirection, really forcing Creason to play the entire table, not letting him really get his feet set, wide to the backhand, out to the forehand, and then finishing with one final ball to the backhand to take the point. Oh, that's how you do it. These points are huge for both players at 2-2. You saw in the women's final, Whoever gets that pivotal fifth game. 
great defense by Wong lately. The last game and a half, he's just playing brilliant. Look at that. Oh, oh he had a chance to make one more recovery. Table tennis is its finest, folks. Drama, U.S. Open title on the line. Strategy going back and forth, two great athletes. That backhand, just so solid. Yeah, you can't serve long to the backhand. If you're going <laughs> to serve long, you serve long to the middle. Right on his right pocket. There's just too much spin on that backhand, Dan. Grisan makes it look so effortless. He that sure ball does. Is loaded, just putting so much topspin on the ball. And then when you just put it on the table to the backhand, heavy topspin there. Able to get one more forehand. Zoom. That ball's going off the end. Wow, 4-1, four, 4-5. Four, the ebb and flow of a table tennis match is quite evident here in this final. Oh, those are some strong yeah. blocks there by Wong. Kusan going to the middle. Wong able to keep the ball in play. Well, what Wong has done is he's taken a little bit of a step back so he can handle the, the two or three backhands in a row. Oh, he had that one. He lined that one up. Couldn't be closer, folks. Two, two, five, six. Big fifth game. Oh, the big break there by Wong. Kusan caught a net. Wong able to return it. Just put it on the table, and Kusan missed a little bit of a sitter there. Well, his offense isn't the best. When he has to force the point, not as comfortable as when he's playing a counterattack or a blocking game. Great return of serve. Little side under that went long. And uh, Frisson, big moment of the match here. He's going to the backhand serve, folks. Big point for Wong. He's playing him so well. I mean, this is exactly how you beat a counterattacker. You force them to attack and make them move. But not everyone can do it. It's difficult. And Wong is showing he has the game. Oh, oh. look at that backhand. Yeah, that backhand <laughs> down the line, a little bit inside out, is really his trademark. Let's nice, take a look at this, folks. Nice a little drop bit late. And at the last second, just lifted it up, completely fooled. Wong on that last point. And Wong with some breathing space here at 9-7. Fifth game. Kusan with the serve, though. I'll say strategically, Wong has done a great job. His coaching and plan for this match has been just excellent. Oh, did you see just threw up a softball? No pace on that. Kusan completely mistimed it. Three game points. Jinxing Wong really showing some excellent play. But once again, it's actually the normal move or the default move to go cross court to a backhand. And that's where Kusan has so much power. Got a little, someone with an iPhone with the light on, but 10-8. Is he going to serve short to the forehand or long to the backhand? The middle of the table. Oh, oh Grisan, so strong up at the table. Wong throwing everything at him, and Grisan just staying there. He's got to serve short to the forehand here, Sean. Got to, absolutely has to do it. The focus. He's on. thinking about it. He didn't do it on that one. There it is. Oh, Kreeson with another wow. misdirecting backhand on a short ball. 
But you know the serve wasn't to the forehand. It was middle forehand where he could use the backhand. It should have been straight down the line. You couldn't allow him to touch it with the backhand. It should have been the forehand. The focus right now on Kreesan's face. Oh, oh big oh. counter loop. Yes, sir. Wong bringing the offense. It doesn't get much better than this, folks. If you're watching this at home, enjoy it because this is table tennis. Oh, Jin Xing Wong goes up 3-2 in the U.S. Open men's final. What a game, 12-10. What do you think, Sean? Oh my gosh, I think Kreesan's going to have to pull out the stops and start putting some more offense on the table. Right now, Wong completely controlling the offense. Great play from both players. Some redirection, some forehand loops, and then here comes the big forehand by Wong. He's definitely drawn first blood right now. And strategically wise, Wong's played so well. He's made uh, Creason work on the offensive end. He's made him return short on the forehand. He's gone wide with his forehand loops. And now he's in position to win the Open, but he's got a long way to go. Creason's been in the saddle many times. He's a very experienced player. But Wong has the game to win this title. And he's got the supporters here with all the Junior members from ICC, from Melpitas, cheering on one of their coaches and main training partners. And now's the time to get Chris on, right now, because seventh game will be tough. If he can get ahead here, he could crack him. See that push? That's a good push. Really? Heavy and down the middle. Now against a strong offensive player, you probably wouldn't want to do that. Oh, oh. oh Jin Shin Wong really recovered that to win a huge point to go up to Love in game six. It looked like Kreeson had that a couple of times. You know, Dan, the blocks that Wong has are so amazing, but when he pulls that offensive forehand loop in, he can put it anywhere on the table. I love the way he returns the serve and leaves the side spin on. See how he just sort of poked it and left the spin on? Gave That's a serve. great way to return that little top spin right. serve. Gave him the serve right back on his own side of the table. Wow, 3-0. Heavy under deep. Oh, that Whoa. was a nice opening by Creason. Now, cut, he caught Wang sleeping there. He should have looped that serve. It was, it was right there. Wow. Those are the ones that Poussin's so good. When you're at the rally, right at the table quick, and he's changing direction on you, he gets you on the wrong foot every time. Dead ball serve. When you serve dead ball and they push short, you can flip that thing because there's nothing on it. It's a perfect tactic. If you serve dead ball and the guy pushes it short, go after it. There's nothing on it. You can make it every time. Again, yes. neutralizing the serve with the drop shot. And he went to the backhand, but that was only after he got Kreesan moving over short to the forehand side, taking advantage of a slower moving. Oh, here comes the backhand. That's the one you got to worry about. <laughs> that's his, really, that's really his only real offense, is that backhand inside out. He's delivered it a number of times here in this finals. Boy, is he in trouble. Boy, is he in trouble, folks. Time out. Time out. Time out. Should have called it at 6-3. Coach Philemon in his corner. I think he let Adrian call it himself. Yeah, he's letting him play. Sometimes you hate to call it and the player gets mad at you because he, he doesn't want to play, but Adrian's not being happy right now. Oh! oh. What? So, Should have called the timeout. You can see that he's a little mad. He's like, 
on, you know, that last game, and now look at Sean, 8-3 for Jin Ching Wong. It's a nice try, but you knew Crisson was going to rip it because he's mad. At this point, Crisson is going to throw everything to the wind. So you've got to be careful in your choices at this point. When you have a guy against the wall, they normally want to be aggressive. So you've got to tighten it up. Wow. See, I didn't like that serve because you're giving Crisson the chance to be aggressive. He should serve short in the forehand, make him work. Players don't like to work when they're down. There it is. Perfect. Oh. Absolutely perfect. Right location, forcing Crisson to really go for broke. He's going to just put it on the table. And how many strong returns to serve on the short forehand has he had? Almost none. Oh, baby, five match points Team. for Jin Xing Wong from the ICC U.S. Open men's singles title. Could be happening momentarily. And there it is, unbelievable. Unranked Jin Xing Wong knocks off number 56 in the world, Adrian Crisson, and you saw it here. U.S. Open men's singles champion. What a match, Dan. Great play from all the players here. Team ICC with the men's singles title. Wang Jin Sin. That's a shocking result, Sean. It really was, but I can tell you that was tremendous strategy. He played well, he neutralized it, and it was really the strategy, but not everyone can play that. When you play a counterattacker like Crisson, you got to buckle down on the defense and make him move. And he did exactly that. Really neutralized that backhand attack. Able to mix it up with his own forehands. Number of happy players in his corner getting some high fives. Oh! What happens in oh. Vegas stays in Vegas. <laughs> He's got his girlfriend out there. I think he's a little bit happy, folks. Oh, yeah. I mean, he's never won a big title, so can you blame him? <laughs> this is Las Vegas anyway, folks, so. That's fantastic. His girlfriend's crying hard, and I'll tell you, the emotion can overwhelm you when you do something like this. I'll tell you, it's, it's, it doesn't get any better. And a, a shocking result. I mean, I'm shocked. I really didn't think he had a chance. Well, let's throw this down to Adam Bobro to get a chance to share with the emotional success. And we see Crease on over in the corner, and you know they never remember the runner-up. <laughs> For our runner-up and outstanding performance, a pleasure for us all to watch will be presented by Andreas Hahn of Yola. Runner-up, give it up for Romania's number one player, Adrian Christian. And the only player to stop the number one seed in this tournament, the number 72 seed in this tournament, presented by Richard Lee of Yola North America. A round of applause for our 2015 Men's US Open champion, none other than Wang Jin Xin. Holding your girlfriend high in the air is good enough.
All right, one more big round of applause for our finalists in the men's singles championships. And if we could get you guys together for a picture real quickly. And now just a quick question for our champion. All right, Chiwe, gonna be our translator here. Wong, quick question for you. It's an emotional victory, quite a celebration, quite an achievement. What does this mean to you? Wife, I apologize. Nothing right now but love for his wife. A round of applause for love. Love wins. And one last thing, can you ask the champion if he can say anything to his fans around the world watching this amazing achievement? What does he want to say to his fans? <laughs> Thanks, ICC, for everything. Support him. Jishin uh, said, "Thanks for everybody. Support him." Thanks everybody uh, tonight and being here to support him. Oh, he said today he, he forgot his ring, but he have his trophy. And then, would you marry him? just proposed. I thought they were married. This is the most twists and turns I've ever seen in a table tennis tournament. She said yes, right? She said yes. A big round of applause. He just proposed with the championship trophy from the 2015 US Open. Oh my goodness. It doesn't get any better than this. All right. Well, grab your photos. Thank you all for coming out to the 2015 U.S. Open. Thank you to Omnia. Drive safely. We hope you've enjoyed yourselves. And enjoy a Saturday night in Las Vegas. I'm Adam Bobro. Have a great night.